think we are. Is my soundboard going to work? I don't think so. That sucks. Let's try to get out of it and go back in. I need a new soundboard, bro. But that's not why we're here. Unfortunately for me, it's a good thing and a bad thing that happened today. Thank you. The good thing is I went to... Oh, shit. Yeah, thanks for reminding me. I would have completely forgot. Wait, why is it not? Right, it says the camera's on, but it's not on. What the hell is going on? What the hell? Maybe because I have OBS open still. Let me close that. Open this up very professional of me. There we go. Holy shit, I figured it out. Good for me, right? All right, so a good thing and a bad thing happened today. The good thing is I went to an outlet place with a couple of friends, which was really fun and awesome to do considering you know it's not very often with everybody living their own lives and shit that we all have to do to be responsible adults that you're able to go out and just make a day out of doing some shit right unfortunately for me i have discovered that my style is dead it it exists no more I wear carpenter jeans, man. Some of you guys might be like, well, you're not a carpenter. I build dreams, motherfucker. That's what I do. What dreams do I build? I build my own dreams, damn it. That's what I'm about. So I found out today, my style doesn't exist anymore. Dude, I went everywhere. I was in... Like in name a store, we probably we probably went into it. There's nothing. It's all skinny jeans now. Don't get me wrong. They have sh- things they call straight legs, but I think those are pretty much skinny jeans. Also, the reason why I like carpenter jeans is because they give my crooked legs a little bit of room to breathe. You know what I mean? So you know, I'm I'm into that. I enjoy that just because I like the freedom, especially, and I found out, and this is a helpful tip for any of you out there that have neighbors that have dogs. If your pants are a little bit baggy, and I'm not saying they have to be ridiculously baggy, just enough. If a dog tries to come at you and bite your leg, they're going to get a mouthful of denim which is very helpful because that's happened to me a few times. And luckily for me, I didn't get hurt because they were eating my jeans, which I think the dog knew that that was happening. I've been telling you your style is dead for a long time. You're like if Pog and a can of Surge turned into a person. You know what the saddest part about that is? I can't argue. You're not wrong. I mean, dude, I'm making references to Hoobastank and Papa Roach in 2019. 2019. And I'm making references to those bands with bands that are relevant today. Look, I'm an old man. I'm the equivalent of that guy that I used to walk. 10 miles to school in the snow with my bare feet. <laughs> you know, I'm I'm that guy, except when it comes to don't think it, don't speak it. Hear no evil, speak no evil. What's the third one? 
See no evil. There it is. You see that? You just watched my brain connect a thought there. How do you feel? You feel good <laughs> that you got to see that happen live and in person? But seriously, dude, it, it doesn't exist anymore. And can I talk real quick about like, okay, I don't know what you guys all wear, like what your style is, but can we talk about how expensive clothes are? nowadays dude bro i i went into the polo store obviously i know ralph Lauren is an expensive brand but i i'm no bullshit i'm wearing a pair of polos right now that i got from bj you know, what the name brand is necessarily. It's not about what the name brand is. It's more about the style and the comfort for me. But dude, they were trying to charge $90 for a hoodie. $90 for a hoodie. For for. Do you realize this, <clears throat> this thing that I'm wearing right now is an official nba hoodie and i got it for 15 bucks in burlington coat factory i got a thousand dollar jacket for 50 dollars, bro like i'm i'm not about spending all that money all the stores hold on if i can read let me try again all of the stores weren't just expensive they were oh this is a big word let me see if i can do it prohibitively expensive like they were silently told we shouldn't be there this world is fucked no see exactly that's what i'm talking about like, the prices were ridiculous all i want to do look i know when i come on here and i'm i'm a little self-conscious about this but i have all of like three hoodies maybe four at most, but you see me usually in my Nets hoodie or my Pac-Man hoodie, and I just bought these over the last couple of months when I went to Burlington. So, you know, I'm kind of, I'm more conscious about that. I don't want to, and I'm not a dirtbag. I do laundry. I wash them. It's not that. I just would like to have a little bit more of a variety in my wardrobe. And I'm not even saying I need to have, you know, 20 different sweatshirts or anything crazy. You know, even, you know, five or six of them that I can switch. I don't know why I keep doing this. It's instinctively, I guess I feel like I have to be close to the camera, like I'm leaning in to speak to you. But I have to... I have to get used to the fact that there's a back to the chair and the whole purpose of the back to the chair is so that I don't, I don't have to strain my back going forward. <clears throat> but dude, I don't know what to really do anymore. I can accept the fact that my, my style is dead, that people don't really wear baggy jeans anymore and skinny jeans is really where it's at. I just, I can't pull it off. Even if I wanted to, I couldn't do it. And to Doug's point, man, you know, the prices were completely outrageous. Until it's in style again, shit comes back around. I remember when stores selling baggy jeans with underwear sewed on. My style is homeless. People leave you alone if you're looking homeless. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you mean by what do you mean by homeless what is your definition of homeless because i'm sure you can find a few people that would argue that i would look like i'm homeless but like you mean like rips in your shit like you like wearing stuff like that wearing things that are a little bit beat up and you know what? That's actually smart on your end because you're less likely to be robbed, especially in this day and age where people are hurting for money. 
I mean, I completely get it. Torn jeans, torn hoodie, comfort. <laughs> Dude, I, I get it. I mean, tears in my shit drives me crazy. Only because, like, if I could find... Hold on, you know what? Let me see. I'm going to show you old pair of jeans that I have. If I can get my ass out of this chair. Let me grab these real quick, and I'm going to show you... And maybe you can tell me if this is similar to what you're talking about. Okay, I got two... I got two articles of clothing right here. Now, check this out. I have to try to angle the camera just right. So let me scroll this up for a second. <clears throat> Now, I'm about to, about to blow you away because for those of you that might know what this is, you probably, I don't even think they make this brand anymore. This is a Nietzsche shit back when this was popular, but this is done on purpose. I did not do this. Like, look at this, man. You see holes in it all over the place. I didn't do that. This is how the pants came. I don't understand that. I mean, obviously, they didn't come with the decal. Jen drew that on. But, oh, my God. Yeah, exactly. Jen drew that on. But, dude, this is what, this is what it came this is kind of helpful in the summertime when it's hot out and you want your balls to breathe a little bit. But outside of that, these pants are damn useless. And then the only other thing is this right here. This drives me bananas, bro. Because it just, look at the size of that rip, man. It drives me crazy. Now, to your point, Hold on, I have to look at your name again so I can try to pronounce it correctly. Let me get back in my chair here. Demos, is that how you say it? Probably not. But, dude, stuff like that drives me nuts. You're literally a relic. I cherish you. I appreciate that. I mean, dude, it's it's pretty rough, man. I just I don't know I don't know what I'm supposed to I don't know what I'm supposed to do anymore. All I want is a pair of slightly baggy jeans that are comfortable. But to your point though, dude, well, the, the question I have really is do you rip it yourself or do you seek out to buy stuff that's already ripped? Because in my head, what I'm thinking is like, okay, these jeans were given to me. My aunt used to work for a clothing store. Do you get notifications for your PayPal? That's a good question. I have no idea. Is there a way that I can find out? Matter of fact, I'll load up the page. Because I'm pretty sure you can't see it. I'm not, I'm not buying your credit card. Get the hell out of here. Okay, now where would I see... Where would I see if I get notifications for it or not? Because honestly, I'm not sure. For all I know, a couple people could have donated to the cause and I would have had no idea. Oh, shit. Dude. Dude. 
somebody fucking donated 10 bucks to me, man. That's crazy. That's so fucking cool. I would Google set up notifications for PayPal if I were you. Unless you have the PayPal app on your phone, I don't think it gives you notifications. Um, I don't have it on my phone. I have it on the computer. Only because I need to get the battery replaced on this. But I'll get to that in a second. But dude, that's so crazy. That is so crazy. Like, dude, I know I'm acting like it's a thousand dollars, but dude, that's wild. Like, what do I do now? That's fucking insane. I, I'm supposed to, it, it gives me the option to claim it. So I guess I'm supposed to claim it, right? That's so awesome, dude. Man, people are so nice, man. I can't, I can't believe that. Let me go into more. Donate to a cause. I am a cause. Free money pool. Blah, 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 blah. What if I go into this thing here? Passport upgrade close. Yeah, no, I think you're I think you're right. Wait, notifications. Here we go. Hold on. We'll let you know when. Okay, I think you're right, dude. Yeah, you did. You did say that. You did say that. I did, you know, I just, I can't believe that, man. It's so crazy. I think I do need to have it on my, yeah, you're right. It, it shows text message. It shows it, but it shows that my phone number is on there, that it, it's supposed to send it to me. So why don't, why don't I have, hold on, I'm looking at my phone real fast. I should have PayPal counted as a, a contact oh wait no that, that might be my other phone that was probably my other phone shit all right so i have to figure out i have to figure out how to how to do it oh let me see hold on where where was it i i seen it just a second ago I guess I go into wallet. Nope, that's not it. Activity. Yeah. 10 bucks, dude. That's so crazy. Somebody sent me fucking $10, dude. That's so wild. Okay, now, before I get, before I get completely sidetracked, I have to figure out how to set up notifications for this thing, man. Because I want to make sure that I get them. Because, dude, I'm going to use whatever funds that I get to put towards doing stuff for this channel. Like, you know, and you know what the weird thing is, bro? It's so strange. I went right before I went live. I was sitting here thinking about, um, uh, uh, the thing that the mic goes in where it goes like this, you know, in that, in that bar, I think it's a boom stand it's called. I was, I was just thinking about one of those, that, uh, controller I want to get so that I'll be able to play games for the guys that, and the ladies that are into gaming because that um, by the way let me let me plug this game let me plug this game if you haven't if you haven't went to skeletac.com 
and downloaded the demo. If you're into playing games, dude, go download that shit and play it because that game is awesome. I really, really enjoy it. I cannot say enough good things about that game, bro. And I'm not a huge gamer guy, but that one, it, the whole thing, it just it, it pulls you in. At least for me personally, it pulled me in completely. I really enjoyed it. But now I got to find out how do I... I should probably do this off of uh, off of the stream. I randomly ask about PayPal and boom, we get to celebrate something. I know, how crazy is that? It's fucking nuts, dude. I mean, it's so exciting. I'm just, I, I can't believe that somebody would, you know, think that what I'm doing would be worth actually donating to what I'm doing, which is awesome, man. You know, whoever you are, you are, you're too good for this world, man. I mean, really, I know that there's probably a lot of people out there that don't appreciate when people do really nice things for them. But seriously, this is all going to go towards making this, what we're doing together as a community, a better thing. Because I've, I've had more fun doing this, the dumb shit that I do that you guys seem to enjoy, than I've had in a long time. And I mean, dude, I'm pretty sure, Demos, you were the one... You were the one that said that I should do uh I should do like a rose type thing, man. I think I'm I'm going to do that, but my thought was to have you know, you guys throw me suggestions of shit to look at and I can tear some stuff up. But real quick, I just want to say I know I mentioned it in a few videos, but I want to let everybody know that I appreciate the fact that some of you guys, you give me like your favorite band, your favorite song, and I wind up tearing it apart. I do. But the fact that you can appreciate the honesty of it all is an amazing thing, especially, 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 especially when, you know, you hear all this crazy shit about the internet and about how negative, you know, this place can be because everybody is faceless and anonymity. That's not even a word. The fact that people are anonymous, you know, it gets bad, but you know, the overall it's been really, it's been really good. So, you know, I want to do, I want to do stuff like that, man. I mean, as much as, as much as I made your day, you being the collective of people that watch these videos, Getting the positive feedback from you guys makes mine as well, because I I feel like we're building something here that is that's bigger than just a YouTube channel. You know, I don't think, I mean, I don't know. I can't speak for other people, but I just, the whole thing is just exciting. Is I really enjoy it, man. I really do. It's it's amazing. But I got to figure out this. I'll figure out the PayPal thing. I, I promise I will do that so that I can, so that you guys will know that if something does come through, that it's just not sitting there dormant for days and, 
you know, I don't know anything about it. I am still getting my footing with all this stuff. But like I said, man, the overall support that I've gotten from everybody has been great. I mean, dude, this is so crazy. I'm, st- I'm still kind of, I'm losing my mind over the, the PayPal thing. It's so awesome, dude. I mean, can I get my soundboard to work? Because I need to, I need to hit a button for this. Oh, no, no. Thanks for checking out the song I recommended. I love it because it throws a few curveballs at you and that jam in the middle is just face melting. Yeah, dude, is sincerely, it is my pleasure, man. Because I'm learning about new artists and music that I would have not known about before. So this whole thing is brand new to me. You know, I like that. One of my favorite things when I was younger, and this can tie into the fact that my style is dying, was going to, you know, like a Sam Goody or some shit like that. And grabbing a CD from an artist or even sometimes just looking at the album work, the artwork on the album rather, and just going, you know what? Let's take a chance. Maybe it will be good. Get home, unwrapping it and listening to it and having that full experience. Great request. I haven't listened to still can't pronounce their name in years because they started getting too soft for me. I'm back in because of your recommendation. See, and that's the other thing too, that is really awesome is the fact that you guys are talking to each other in the comment section. I think that's really cool, man, that, you know, this thing is being built and everybody is talking to one another, even outside of me. I miss just going to the record store and trying an artist based on an album art. See, you know what I'm talking about. I know I sound like an old fart when I say things like that, dude, but there was not a whole, it's not the same now. First time on stream. What's up, man? Welcome, dude. Appreciate it. Thanks for stopping by. Hang out, bro. Where are you from? Just curious. I mean, it's so cool that you're coming by, dude. And listen, you know, um, I, I read all the comments. Getting on with you in the UK. You, dude, shout out to the UK, man. You guys are coming out in numbers. Bro, I can't tell you how mind-blowing it is for me to be sitting in America and reaching people across the world. That is crazy to me. But it's awesome. You know, if we're since we're on U, the UK, I just did I just did a video that's gonna come out in a couple of days from a UK artist. And I gotta tell you, man, you guys are really bringing the heat. All right, see you later, bro. If you're leaving, you know, if you don't, if you're not subscribed, even if you just watch the videos, appreciate that, dude. You know, it's really cool of you to do that. And you have love from America, man, for sure. I'm happy that we could make a connection with one another. That's so awesome. I mean, dude, people from everywhere, man, it's so crazy. 
is so crazy, dude. I love it. It's awesome. I mean, dude. It's so wild. I would, dude, I, when I started this thing, I had no idea that we were going to get even to where we are now. So, you know, Welcome to, okay. Here we go. I think we're back on now. Let me see. Let me cut the camera off and turn it back on. Let's see if that makes a difference. Just starting for me. Come back. All right, can you not, you got... You can you guys hear me or no? Oh shit. Okay. See, look at that, man. I got my buddy called me to let me know that everything is all fucked up. Just lurking and listening here while cooking pasta probably won't say much as I'll be cooking and eating good channel. I mean, appreciate it, dude. That's what's up. I love pasta, man. All right, awesome. I don't know what is going on with Google for some reason. This shit seems to be all fucked up, but welcome to the channel man appreciate having you here it is really cool that you stopped by you know i got a whole bunch of content on the channel if you want to check it out i'm trying to get a variety of shit going i'm thinking also about expanding to a couple other platforms just to make sure I can reach as many people as possible. Now, I know right now we're doing reaction videos, but I plan on adding on to that. Eventually, I want to get a green screen going on here. Obviously, like right now, we have the live stream happening. You know, I'm going to do this when I have some shit that I could talk about. Check out his UK stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro. Seriously, dude, yeah, I got a lot of UK uh, artists up on the channel. So I'm not sure what type of music that you're into, dude. But if, you know, a lot of it is rapper hip hop artist from the UK. So I don't know if that is something that you would be into. But I mean, I have to say and I know I just mentioned it earlier, but you know, the UK dude, you guys are really you guys are really doing it. Tons of fire in the boost stuff, really cool shit. Yeah, do a lot of fire in the boost stuff. That's actually one of my one of my favorite things has become fire in the booth because it, it reminds me of the 90s shit back in the day when Funk Flex was on Hot 97. Like, I'm pretty sure he's still there now, but 
at least in the 90s, there was that level of you had to be good or you couldn't get on. But, I mean, I think that, and you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's with every genre of music. Like, if you're trying to just push some complete shit, nobody's going to have it. You can have all the record executives behind you, the big labels, it doesn't matter. If you're not putting real time and effort into your music, nobody's going to bother. Better than that, my man. (laughs) <laughs> Dude, I mean I really I really enjoy it. I really do. I mean, I feel bad that as an American, I am ashamed that America is not keeping up with the UK. Only because I mean, come on, bro. Nobody nobody really talks about the UK music. I mean, granted, you have your pop stars. You have your pop stars and shit like that. But when it comes to other types of music, it's not really brought up all that often. And I think that it should be. It really should. And it's not. So I don't know... I don't know what's up with that. I guess people just choose to ignore that you guys are doing it big and we're really not. I mean, don't get me wrong. There are some underground artists in America that are really good, but you got to dig for them. Don't be ashamed. Hip hop is just UK now. Dude, no shit. You're, it, it seems like you're right. So much good music comes in the UK. I've been obsessed with their electronic and metal scene for years. Uh, thanks for doing a lot of reactions I've asked for. It. Yeah, hey, Sarah, no problem, man. Hey, listen, you guys make the channel what it is. You know what I mean? So... Without your suggestions, I don't think the channel would be that good. I try to get to what everybody asks me to do because speaking from personal experience, you know, when I would, a while ago, when I would hit up a reaction channel and I would be like, hey, if you're looking for, you know, underground rap music that's not mumble rap like check out immortal technique for example and um you know caught in the hustle that's a really good song and they would go you know okay or they would they would acknowledge the fact that the comment is there but yet they don't do it they never do it And that's not, what's the point of that? The whole point of being, having subscribers is to try to, you know, listen to what the people are telling you. So I try to get to every one that I can. The only time that I don't do something that is suggested to me is if, I've already heard it before because I don't want to give you guys fake content. I don't want to like, I'm trying to think of an example. I know what you mean. They only react to popular shit for views. Exactly. And that shit's lame, dude. And I mean, I don't, I'm not big enough. And even if I was big enough, I should have no place to talk shit about other channels. But, I mean, really, dude, for me, it's not about the view count. It's, you know, you guys are taking time out of your day to fucking watch something that I'm making. So, why not, right? And we're both, 
this is an exchange because you guys are giving me artists to check out and I'm giving you artists to check out. And then at the same time, you can see what my reaction would be to something that you really enjoy. So I keep recommending K Reno. I know, but I feel like he has so much to offer so many different styles and listeners have to get into the mind of a saucer. Well, no, dude. All right. So as far as K Reno goes, I know that I've trashed him a little bit only in the sense that he throws a lot of big words together. And in the day and age of mumble rap, I get that to do something like that is important. But then it's also important to keep substance into your work. But then you throw me a song like, um, hold on. I have mine. I have the list. I have the list right here. So like, yeah, just for example, you, you threw me, I'm pretty sure it was you. You tossed me the... Uh, the song I didn't ask. So I, I had no idea what to expect going in when, you know, I put that song on. But then to hear that the song was basically, he's talking from the perspective of being a child in a home that is breaking someone, I guess, I would think that would be a fair assessment. <laughs> nah, dude, it's not rude at all, bro. We all gotta live, right? You gotta eat to survive. And besides, it's not like you're on a microphone chewing away with your mouth open, right? But, you know, the K Reno thing, dude, I get I get it. I see where he's coming from and I'll give him credit for having the range that he has. Because I don't think a lot of artists really have that. Where on one hand he can throw a bunch of huge words together and just go off of wordplay and then on the complete opposite side you know, he has songs where he talks about God and at the same time he calls out the fact that a lot of people that are involved with like that dude in I think it was New Orleans that wouldn't open up the church until people started getting on him about it I can respect that and it's not something that you really hear from a rap artist of all people. He does have a tendency to get too technical, but he is who he is. He just released four albums this year. He would make a dangerous battle rapper for sure. No, he definitely would. He definitely would make a dangerous battle rapper. If I, you know what? Now that you bring that up, I'm trying to think if what what would your dream battle be if you could put K Reno up against any other rapper in the world who would you want to see him go up against that would be interesting I think to get two guys that are equally skilled like I think I know off the top of my head, the first person I would think of is Diabolic. Mark Gris. Black Thought. Dude, he's nasty. I know we got into a conversation, uh, I think yesterday, about his freestyle. I never, I don't think I ever heard of Black Thought before then. Sorry, but he would destroy... Mark, you know what? You guys are going to have me write this down now. 
I got to figure out who this Mark guy is. Hold on, give me a second. I'm I'm writing his name down as we speak. I'm not even bullshitting you. G R I S T. I'm checking him out for sure because I've never heard of him. So, see, that's, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Just the fact that you just threw an artist out there I've never heard of before in my life, ever. And it's exciting. For, it's like every day is Christmas for me, man, that I can jump on the computer, search an artist that's given to me from somebody that could be all the way across the world or even in the States. Blizzard. I think in a battle type bars, punchlines, wordplays, metaphor, K Reno is untouchable. Hmm. Well, do you know who Diabolic is or no? And I'm going to write down the other guy too. Okay, because they seem like they have similar similar style. Matter of fact, you know what? Let me make a note for myself. I should just keep the damn notebook up here. Very well. Oh shit! You met him at a con- at a convention. I would also have to check out K Reno's rap group. SPC. All right, hold on. I'm writing that down too. SPC. COA. LIT. I-O-N-S. He was there with Jedi Mind Tricks. I love that motherfucker, man. Jedi Mind Tricks is the shit. I love that stuff. So do you, how do you think those two would compare with each other? Grizz is a slam poet and can hold his own in a battle. I mean, Bar's battling goes, at least in this new day and age, the one person, like... Joiner Luke is going after Tory Lanes, and I know that's more of a mainstream deal. But I don't, I don't know what you guys think, but I don't think you can go into a battle rap with Auto Tune. That just you lost automatically by doing that. You can't do that. That's ridiculous. There's no no reason for it. If you can't if you can't hold your own to begin with, then you have no reason even trying to battle. Okay, so that dude, so I'm assuming he does a lot of his shit a cappella, and I know I'm a bit all over the place. No auto tune. All right, awesome. Well, that's good then, because that auto tune shit's for the birds, man. Define battle, bar for bar, disses. No, Mark Roots honestly has no chance. Best UK rapper is. Ah, oh, damn, it's another one that I don't know. Oh, let me write this guy down. Okay. Well, I would say battle to me would be the old school way would be this for this. Arsenal. I've heard of Arsenal before. I just don't know where. But just in case, let me put him on the list also. 
And I got homework to do like crazy. A R S O N A L. Good in battle, not feeling his tracks though. Same with all UK battle rappers, in my opinion. Well, who? Mm. What is it that you don't like? That's the question. What is it that make you that makes you not like them? I agree, he's not a good artist in my opinion, but battle rapper, that guy is sick as fuck. Have you ever heard K Reno's diss to Eminem? Curious what you think of it. I'm not sure if I posted it or not. I did listen to it. If I didn't post it, it's because, and look, if you want me to shoot straight with you, I'll shoot straight with you. I'm probably going to lose a couple of you guys here, but I've been honest from the beginning. I'm not going to start lying now. Okay, so honest truth. What I didn't like about the disc was I felt that K Reno relied too much upon white and black skin color. Now, look, I get M put a disc track out on some black girl. I don't know um, what the details are behind that, but the reason why. I feel that way is because if you have the talent that Reno has, there's no reason why you should have to fall back on skin color and say, oh, because you're white, you know, you're a guest in the game and don't think that you can fuck with me because we made this. What happened was Eminem went as the black woman in foolish pride, so Kay was retaliating. Oh, okay. I thought that that I thought it was something completely different. So that makes more sense now. So he was basically defending black people as a whole, is what it seems like. That makes a little bit more sense. Still, I would I wouldn't mind a battle between the two of them, but I mean, if we're going to be honest and I'm a long time Eminem fan, as much as a couple of people have tried to kill me for talking shit about Reno, I don't, I don't necessarily think Eminem can do it. I really don't. I have a couple of K Reno videos up on my channel, bro. You can check out. Um, Bad Religion is one of them. Don't care what others say. Bridge versus Blizzard is a top battle. Student versus teacher battle. You know, I'm trying to think of a really good battle. The Jada Kiss versus uh, Beanie Siegel battle, or rather, Deluxe versus Rockefeller Records, was that was a pretty wild one. Or even, you know, Deluxe versus G Unit and or Fifty Cent, whichever way you decide to go. I respect K Reno so much. He doesn't just speak it; he walks it. He goes around poverty struck hoods giving hot meals out. Oh, but well, that's awesome, man. I mean, to be honest, he comes off he comes off like the kind of guy that does that type of thing. He really does. Just because of the the songs that I've heard from him. He, he sounds like that's some shit that he would do, but I think that's what you should do. If you're going to talk about some shit like that, you should definitely do it. And especially when UK ciphers. 
Okay. Well, I'm going to put that on the list also. I'll put that on the list also. Um, now I forgot what I was just saying. Oh, yeah. To be able to, like, you talk about you should be positive and, you know, take care of your responsibilities as a person and have some kind of a belief in your life. But then to also... If you have the means, and granted, I don't know what he's making off of uh, records, but if he has the means to go out and and throw meals to people that can't afford it, that's a really nice thing to do. London versus Midlands. Okay. I got it down. So you can keep an eye out for that. Over, I would say, over the next week, we'll have a, a bunch of new stuff is going to be coming out. So far, there's, I have some things ready to go, but I'm always working, man. I'm always working on some shit. I'm always trying to get new content out there but if, if i can be honest with you guys real quick and this might be a bad move on my end on. is there a decent battle league in the u.s just about now i know about kotd in canada but i don't know about the u.s i know that there used to be a league called a hat which i have a old video of from them I picked one at random that I know I've never heard before, but that was one that was based out of Vegas where they would have people fly in and battle one another. There was a championship at one point in time. Eventually they did away with that, but that's the only one that I that I can recall off the top of my head. I know there were others a few years ago, but I honestly, I couldn't tell you where to find them at the moment, to be honest with you, or even remember what they were called. It might be, maybe that might be the other one I'm thinking of. So hold on. Cause I'll look that I'll look that up. I'll look that up and see if it's still around. But you know what? While I got the book out. Let me go over some of the stuff that, you know, we have on here so you guys can see what is some of what's on the list. I know I have some Devin Townsend. I got some Slipknot. A dude named Kaz is on here from the suggestions. T-Kid. Mike Righteous. Gone. Which I just did that. I'm not going to tell you when it comes out. A hat and URL. Cool. I'll get to Googling too soon. Cheers. Yeah, dude, for sure. No problem. I just did a Mike Righteous video. I'm not going to tell you when it comes out because I don't want to spoil the surprise for you. But damn. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to leave the rest of it for you to watch it so you can get the full effect when you see it. Um, some old Biggie, Mob Deep. There, somebody did suggest for me to check out the Black Thought album, Stream of Thoughts 2, 
I don't think that's going to be something I'm going to be able to put up on the channel. But even if I can't put it on the channel, I'll make sure that I check it out. And maybe I'll leave a track or two off of the album that I skip over so that I can do it on the channel for you guys to see it. And then outside of that, I have the ones that you guys just recommended. And there was just an artist I was going to... Dead Prez. I know... Um... Oh, let me write them down, too. Oh my God, I'm blanking on the name, man. The name of the damn song. I know two of them for sure. One of them is the guy with Onyx on it. Hip hop, okay. One of them has the, the Last Days, I think the track is called. I know that one. And then there was one other track it, let me see if I have it in my... This is my MP3 phone right here. So let me see if I got... That's what it was. What I was trying to remember to tell you. Styles P. Dimebag, dude. If you're into rap music, it's an American artist, go check out that album. Because that shit was... Front to back was amazing. I, I think, personally. But... You know, I know that we all... Do. Oh, and Gangstar. Dude, how the hell can I forget about Gangstar? Granted, I only know a couple of songs from them, but can you believe Gangstar's never went platinum? If that still holds up, it might not, but it's ridiculous, dude. I mean, bro, I got everything. You want me to go down the list of my personal shit that I got in my phone just so you guys can see... What it is that I, I'm i listening to. I mean, dude, you want to talk about range, man. I have a range of shit in here. I'm the Slipknot, Joe Button, Diabolic, Bone Thugs and Harmony, Eminem, LL Cool J, Gangstar, Immortal Technique, Outer Space, Styles P. Fucking most deaf, a little KRS one, some Soundgarden. Come on, bro. You know I gotta have some Soundgarden in here. Uh, Jedi Mind Tricks, of course. I know I mentioned them earlier. Army of the Pharaohs, I would put under that same category, just because there there would be no AOTP without Jedi Mind Tricks. Swollen Members, shout out to Canada, Nirvana, Audio Slave. Let's see what else. I have a little bit of Seven Dust in here. Body Count. Hmm. I don't think so. I'll write them down too. I got them down on the list. I don't think I have body count. Master Ace, Tupac, one of my all-time favorite artists. The Game, even though I haven't listened to any of his new shit. I got some Metallica, Twisted. Hold on, still going through some Joyner Lucas, Wu-Tang. Uh, um, hey. Yeah. Mommy wants to know, do you talk to the people downstairs? What do you mean? About the motorized wheelchair. No. Yeah, where's the story? No, not yet. Nobody was there today, and I'm on oh. the thing, just to let you know. No, it's fine. I don't care. Well, for those of you that didn't know, that was a topic of conversation. Motorized wheelchair.
fucking man. <laughs> yeah, that that's Jen. For you guys that don't know. Um, Hobson. I don't know if I mentioned him. You probably won't see too much of her. She tries to stay off the camera as much as possible. Scarface, a little bit of Ritz. Even some Breaking Benjamin up in here, man. I, I mean, I have a whole laundry list of shit. It can go on and on. I forgot what the hell I was even looking for in the first place. Oh, yeah, the Dead Prez song. Um, oh, my God. I can think of it in my head, man. You know, the part where he says... Uh, in the beginning of the song, if you're familiar, is she a fugitive? <laughs> no, she's not a fugitive. She's just camera shy. Now, I know you said hip hop. I was thinking of a different one. Oh, fuck. It's got some lady singing at the end of the song. They're mentioning. Uh, they're mentioning government groups. You no, know, the couple of lines that stick out from the song that I can think of off the top of my head were, um, you know, I don't want to die from a nuclear bomb. I say we all rush the Pentagon. Hold our guns and grab the intercom. My first words would be, I believe man made God out of ignorance and fear. If God made man, then why the hell would he put us here? I thought he was supposed to be the all-loving. Is it the same God that let Hitler put the Jews in the oven? I don't, that's because of how crazy that, that section is. That's the first thing that sticks out into my head. But I can't remember the damn name of the song, man. It's driving me crazy. I would load it up on here, but I don't want to fuck up the stream. Damn. Hold on. Got to answer... Uh... Message real quick. Okay. Um, shit, dude. I don't I don't remember the name of the damn song, but if I find it, I'll I'll put it up just to show just to show you guys what it is. But we got a whole a bunch of stuff on here. So I gotta work on this PayPal thing before I forget. Let me write myself a note. PayPal notifications just so I don't forget but you know I appreciate that man there's shit that I gotta do I know I still gotta get the boom stand get a controller for the fucking the games, if I can figure out how to download the damn things properly. I gotta get a battery for this phone. Is Amazon the best way to to go about doing that? Because this is not a new phone. I want to say it's probably four years old. Maybe a little bit more. Not 100% sure on that. But I know it's definitely not new. But this thing... Don't burn yourself out. Yeah, but that's true. I mean, I gotta... I know that I need to... 
I gotta do a little bit. eBay is cheaper. All right, I'll check that out. So when I'm looking, when I'm looking for it, like obviously in the search engine, I'm supposed to put in like new, uh, new battery for such and such model phone. That would be how I would find it. Because I don't know how much has changed from finding these things. And I know there's a lot of scams out there. If you're not careful, you can get yourself caught up in. But uh, I guess you would look for the. Do they still go by ratings? Because I guess you would look for the highest rated seller, right? Because I know I need to get a battery for my phone and she needs to get a battery for hers. But speaking of which, I got to grab my charger real quick. Battery number model. Okay, hold on. Battery number model. All right, hold on. Let me go grab my charger real quick. I'll be back in two seconds, man. They think you're a fugitive. The people. Because I told them and you say you got to stay off the line as much as possible. And they're like, why? It's just fugitive? <laughs> so they said, they all said hi. Yeah, so you know. Yeah. Or should I open that thing around? Yeah, you can open that. What's that? One of those. This one we could just store up in here. Yeah. Like, you know, I don't need to ask them, you know. How much is it? Um. Hi, YouTubers. Maybe some dude at the mall. We can still hear you. Yeah, I know. It's all right. A hundred and ninety nine. What? Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. About 200. <laughs> bro, I'm too broke for this world, bro. That's what's happening. And it's free shipping. $35 or more. He said, yo, girl. Yo, what's up? Sorry, Jane, I've been watching. I almost got away with lots recently. You don't really look like you're on the lam. Okay. <laughs> 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 oh, she has to fix it. Oh my god, dude, that killed, bro, I'm, I'm not put, dude, you just had me choking, bro. Holy shit, that's funny. You don't, you don't look like you're on the lamb. Oh my god, that's fucking hilarious. Yeah, no, she's definitely not. If she was, she would need to dress a hell of a lot differently. That's for sure. And take those piercings out of her face. I don't have any piercings in my face anymore right now. Well, well apparently she already did. Shows how much I know. Dig holes. <laughs> holes. Yeah, see. I don't get my nose in there. All right, I thought you did. I don't even get my ear in there. Yeah, Come on, man. I can't even get this goddamn thing to... Plug in, bro. It's ridiculous. Shh, don't tell. <laughs> That's not exactly that. Mm. that makes That's sense. That makes sense then. All right, I'll have to find somewhere else to okay. plug it in. Yeah, but the mouse is plugged in over here. Yeah, you have another USB port over there. Do I? Let's find out. Holy shit, I do. How do you like that? You guys just watched me discover the fact that I have. An extra USB port. Well, yeah, because there's the one that the mouse is plugged into. I 
heck can I be on the lamp, Kevin? I got a cell phone. I'm gonna have a cigarette. All right, good. I can't go. I'm talking to the people. Oh shit! I'm hitting things. This might piss off a lot of hip hop fans, but you should do an overall view every few months or so, saying who you think the best lyricist is, bar for bar. Put a beat behind it. Wait, what do you mean? What do you mean? Pick an artist every couple of months and be like, all right, this is the guy or girl that is that is the best in my opinion that's a good idea i like that overall Every few months. Yeah, basically the goat. Mm, that's tough. If I had to pick. If I had to pick right now. Do I get to choose? Do I get to choose by country? Or does it have to be one person overall and that's it? Because that's important in the decision making. Hmm. Overall, damn. Fuck, man. That's tough, dude. Yeah. That is pretty nasty. Um, that would start a war. Yeah, it would. But you know what? I like that. I like that idea. I'm going to run. Don't do it. Don't, all right, we got to do votes. Do it or don't do it. We got one don't do it. One more. If I pick an overall artist... Every couple of months of who is the best one. You're entitled to your own opinion, no. Like, if I, say I did it every once a month, I picked the artist that was overall the best artist. Maybe of all the guys and your fans have to accept that, I would. Well, I appreciate that. See, I think it would piss people off, but I'm all for drama. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why you want me to roast things, dude. <laughs> it could be fun, but man, yeah, dude, I, bro, I hear you. That's the little voice in the back of my head, too, going, ah, do we really want to do that? It's like the angel and the devil, like, you know, going back and forth with one another. Hmm. That's a tough call. I think I like him. Because if I had to, if I had to choose one right now, hold on, hold on. I gotta, I gotta handle this real quick. Holy shit. Look, th that's what I just attempted to write. Damn it. Hitting buttons all over the place.
you guys are fun. I'm off to bed 3.30 a.m. here. We'll check those recommendations from everyone. Thanks. Catch y'all another time. Yeah, peace, Rock, dude. Thanks for stopping by, bro. Okay, I'm blown up today. Not really. Two people. And really only one. The other, one of them is just somebody that I talk to occasionally. H is very overrated, in my opinion. Well, see, now, here's what I would argue to that. I think he needs time to grow for his age, because a lot of what he's talking about right now is something an 18-year-old kid talks about. You know what I mean? So I think he has to... He has to get more into... He has to find where he wants to be. I'm sure right now what he's trying to do is just catch listeners. You know what I'm saying? But I don't think that he necessarily... Maybe he has stuff that he wants to talk about and he's just not ready to do it yet. But I'm going to do it. If I had to give an overall artist... For this month, rap wise, waiting for you to become a cassette coast fan. He is different. I got that video coming up, and I want to talk about it so bad, and I can't because it will ruin the the video for you. Oh man, when is that gonna come out? I have to look and see. It sh it might be. Wait, did it already come out? I don't think so. If it didn't come out today, it might come out tomorrow. I'm not sure. I don't remember. Honestly, it's all a blur. Gray matter. Hashtag gray matter. <laughs> um, <clears throat> um, Black Thought would have to be the top artist in rap right now, I think. And here's why. Okay, so it's not up today. It should be coming up soon. I have to double check and see when I put it up for, but I definitely did it for sure. But the reason why I picked Black Thought is because that was 100% That was 100% freestyle, and you could tell that it was a freestyle. It was no written shit. However, close second. Black Dot's been slaying microphones since the 1980s. Holy shit. Has he really? Close second, though, is going to be Mike Righteous, man. And here's why. I think it's because of the fact that, dude, when, the, and this is again another video I can't talk about too much. Oh, I know the roots. I've heard of them. I've heard of the roots. Let me write them down, man. Just because I know, I know them, I just, I don't know. I don't remember too much about them. So I have to go back and listen to some of that stuff. But the reason why I say Mike Righteous is a second is because somebody said that he was battling with depression and shit like that. And at first glance, you know, he comes off as if, you know, he's just yelling and screaming 
and he's just another run of the mill guy that's trying to act hard and look like a tough guy. But if you really sit and dissect what it is that he's talking about, you know, you can tell that he's got a lot of serious things that are happening. Like he makes a lot of mentions, and I know I could talk about this part because it was done in previous uh, videos that I did, but he talks a lot about, you know, his his family life being fucked up and things like that coming from a rough place to live. So, you know, I give him a lot of credit for that, especially for being a young dude. Now, Grant, I don't know how old he is, but this video that's going to be coming up soon Gone, man. I can I can't even. Yeah. Also, I uh, even shadow has shadows. He was nineteen when he wrote it. Oh wait, I didn't do that one yet. I don't think I did. Uh, bottle dreams and yo, Sarah, dude. In the most polite way possible, your suggestion fucked up my day, bro. <laughs> I don't I don't say that to be mean. Like the song was done so well that it com it completely pulled me in a hundred percent. Like when I heard this song, I wasn't just listening to a song. I had the visual, unfortunately, in my head of the in all the events that were happening in that song. And it it fucked me up emotionally because I I can't imagine doing something like that to a child, man. But just the idea of sitting and knowing that even right now, as we sit here and we talk and we have a good time, that stuff like that is going on makes me sick. There are there are kids in the family. You know, she's got a little brother and a nephew. You know, I love them kids to pieces. I hate their guts sometimes, and you want to feel Goldham across the room, but you can't do that. But either way, you know, even though they do drive you crazy, I mean, come on, man. There's just certain things you just should not be in human nature to do. All right, hold on. What's this now? Shadows have shadows. And then you just said, oh my God, how do you even say that? How do you pronounce that? Narsty? That can't be right. Fire in booth three. Before you watch the song is about depression. Okay, well, no, look, it's not like I said. It's I appreciate the the one that I just listened the bottle dreams. I appreciate that song, and I'm happy that it was made. What messes me up is the fact that something like that even needs to be talked about that that has to be that that's a thing that happens in the world and i really wish that it wasn't you know it's it's not that shit's not cool but i appreciate the suggestion and i'm going to i'm going to do I'm going to do that one anyway. Depression or not, whether it's sad or not, doesn't bother me. The depression thing I can deal with is just when it comes to 
little kids or people, you know, beating and abusing animals and shit. I can't, that, that just hits me in a spot where I, you know, I can't deal with that. Again, you know, when the cat scratches up the couch and wrecks your shit, you want to feel goal punter, but you know you can't do that. You just got to understand that the cat's going to do cat shit and you have to deal with it. You don't get a fucking baseball bat and, ugh, you know, the people. Exactly. English rank, 100 bars of truth, part two. I know I did part one. I think YouTube might be deleting it for you. Sometimes what happens is when you comment a lot, YouTube will take away your your ability to comment and will take away your comments. I don't know why it's dumb like that. It should let me, it should give me the option. Like if somebody is spamming, it should give me the option to be able to handle that instead of doing it itself. It classifies as spam, which I mean, I get it to a certain degree. I get it. But I mean, come on, man, if we're trying to have a conversation and I don't read your message right away, then, you know, completely screwed. You know, it sucks that it does that, but I mean, I appreciate the fact that, you know, we're having a conversation though all of us enough to where youtube feels like oh man we gotta we gotta we gotta monitor this spamming bullshit because this is not good it just sucks that it does that it's just a good thing that i'm staying up on what everybody is saying you know but i mean damn look at this dude i got I started out right here. And then since we started having this conversation, I got all the way to the bottom of the page already. So, you know, this, and there are things on here on the top I haven't even gotten to yet, which I will do. But like dude said before, Demos, I think that's how you say your name. You know, I don't want to burn myself out. And... I know this whole thing just started, but I want to branch out from, I don't want to only be boxed into reaction videos. I understand why they're cool to do and I enjoy doing them, but I also want to do other shit as well. So hopefully you guys will come along for the ride with that also. But I have to figure out what direction I want to take it in. Wait, is that whole thing a title to a song? Witness the fitness. But I mean, I liked I liked the idea of roasting shit if you guys want to throw some things if you see some wild shit throw it my way in the comment section hit me up privately whatever you want to do and you know i'll do some videos on that eventually we're going to get a green screen up in here where i'm going to do some gaming type stuff you know i want to make it diverse and also, it's so, not only so I don't burn myself out, but it's also so that I don't beat the thing to death. Oh, okay. I got you. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> do it for sure, dude. Oh shit, Jake and Logan Paul. I don't know who the fuck they are. I'm in. And by the way, uh, you do you. If it catches me, I'll watch. See, I respect that. I respect that, man. That you're honest enough to be like, you know what? If if I'm into it, I'm into it. If I'm not, I'm not. But having said that, though, it doesn't mean I'm going to stop. I'm not going to just stop doing reactions altogether. They're still going to be there. It's just that I'm throwing other stuff into it as well. So I don't want you guys to think like all of a sudden I'm abandoning everything that has been, you know, brought to my attention. I'm not going to do that. That's douchey. So there's always going to be some of that going on. But, you know, hopefully you'll dig it. If not, you still have the reactions you can check out, you know, whatever you feel. But I appreciate the honesty, man, because you know, I'm, I'm the same way. I'm just, I'm honest like that as well. So you know what? I might do it right now. Do you guys care if you're not able to hear? If you're not able to? Oh shit! My headphones busted. I'm out for the night. Much love. Keep being you. Appreciate it, man. Thanks for stopping by, bro. I appreciate it. Thanks for, you know, the suggestions. Okay, these are all fucked up now. I have the backwards, I think. I don't know, I'll figure it out later. Either way, maybe I should do a separate video to roast these fools. But, you know, that's awesome that, you know, I got all this stuff going on, man. <clears throat> Which reminds me, oh shit, I hit a button. What I do? Is everything still there? Is everything still going? I hit a button. I don't know what I did. I think I might have just hit a new tab by accident. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm wild, man. Now, I got to figure out how to do this. Okay, cool. I got to figure out how to do this. Uh, this PayPal notification thing, because I'm going to forget and kick myself in the ass for not doing it. Wait, the bell probably. Notifications, no? Is that not how it works? Hmm. I don't know what I'm doing. Be back in a bit, late night call, okay. So I'm going to try to figure this out.
You can choose what you'd like to get from us and how we should send it. Well, no, that's not it at all. Jesus, man, they make things tough. You're going to link your bank account to it, get a check, or just use it from there. I have my bank account linked to it already, I'm pretty sure. Because <clears throat> I think I had to do that to get it switched in to the thing. But I'm pretty sure I do have my bank account connected. Okay, yeah, I do, because it shows... Uh, do I want to transfer it to the bank or do I want to keep it in PayPal? So I have the option to do both things. And I, honestly, I should probably, I don't, is it safe to keep it in PayPal? Because I would be buying something online anyway. So it might be the better move to just leave it there instead of, transferring it to the bank and then transferring it back over to PayPal. I know it's probably boring to talk about. Oh, okay. So I need to add information to the... Wait, no, what? It's not safe to leave it in there? People have got their accounts locked before. Okay, so I should put it right in the bank and only put the money in there when, when I'm going to buy something. That's the best way to do it? Because this is all new stuff to me. I am okay, I got you. So let me go backwards, put it in my thing. That's so cool, man. I think I did it. <clears throat> it's just easier to send it to your bank. Yeah, but is it, so is it safe to buy stuff online? through PayPal, or is that not even a safe thing to do anymore? Because that's the other thing I have to figure out, too. Like, if I'm going to go on eBay and I'm going to buy a battery, then I guess I would transfer the dollar amount for the battery into the PayPal. But I think that takes a day. I'm not sure. I have to look into all this stuff, but I have it set up just in case. I mean, I plan on getting all new equipment and shit like that, get this thing going. Oh, okay, I got you. Don't treat it like a savings account. So just because it's safe to buy things with PayPal doesn't mean that you just leave it in there because anybody can just come by and snatch it up on you. I see what you're saying. That makes sense because, you know, I'm probably being a dummy that I am 
people like me would automatically think, oh, well, if it's safe to buy shit, then I could just leave it on there and everything will be you fine. So that's a good thing to know. Appreciate that, dude. But you know what I might do tomorrow? I'll probably do this Jake and Logan Paul thing so you can see it and we can see how that goes over. I just don't know how the hell I would do it, but I got to work all this stuff out. I lost everybody. I mean, I know people got lives and it's late as shit, but you know, I know diversifying the channel is not going to be something that everybody wants to see, but it's just something that needs to be done because I know we do the same thing over and over again. It can get pretty boring, but dude, I appreciate the idea, man, about roasting shit. You should find enough content on them. Are they really bad? I've heard bits and pieces like, the, the only thing I really know about one of them, and I don't know which one it is, was that they went to the forest, I think, in Japan, where people go and hang themselves. Yeah, that one. That's the one thing that I know. I Because I, that was everywhere. Even I heard about that. And I don't really know, like, when shit goes viral, I'm usually the last person to know about it. But even I heard about that because it hit every podcast that I listened to. It was brought up for at least five minutes. No question. Everybody. And he got torn a new asshole, dude. It was ridiculous. But... I mean, what kind of a jerk off are you? Like, look, it, come on, bro. You know, you don't, you don't go to a place where people commit suicide and then try to make jokes about it. And I'm not even trying to be a fuck face. It's just, you know, where in your head did that seem like a good idea? Oh, hey, look, there's a dead body over there. Let's go take a stick and poke at it because that will get a million hits on YouTube and also gets all of your fucking sponsors pulled, you dumb motherfucker. What did you think was going to happen? Oh, see, that makes sense. That makes total sense. Makes total sense, dude. Uh, so, what is... What do you mean by... Um, content restrictions? Like, what you can post? Because, like, dude, nowhere, nowhere in my mind would I ever think about doing that. Nowhere. But then again, I mean, I don't even know how old this kid is, but from what I hear, he can fight. Apparently. Because I did hear that briefly. what you say and show. Hmm. That's so weird. I mean, it, it's fucked up that one guy kind of wrecked it for everybody else, but I mean, I, I get I get it, I guess. Just, this is a fucking, like, some respect for the dead, bro. That's all I'm trying to say. Dude clearly 
or lady, whoever it was, I almost said whatever it was. Jesus, you want to talk about getting in trouble, bro? That would have been really bad. Um, whatever that person went through to end up in that point in their life definitely did not need to get poked with a fucking stick by some American jerk off who was just trying to get views on YouTube. Stupid. What are you accomplishing? The only other thing I heard about this kid, and I heard about it briefly, was him and a comedian, Chris D'Elia, um, went back and forth on Twitter for a little bit. And I only heard about it. I didn't read everything that was said between the two of them because, I mean, to be completely honest with you, it wasn't my argument, so I had no interest in it vested interest in it but you know the kid sounds like a real jerk off but again i guess it depends on his age and i guess that's just the shit that kids do nowadays who the fuck knows bro just i matter of fact i'm i'm curious dude i'm going to I'm going to go on YouTube and let's hope that this doesn't fuck it up. They got songs? Shut the fuck up. No, they don't. Oh, you better stop it right now. You better stop it right now, dude. Yeah, really. You're not kidding, man. Just because I want to get, I want to hear a little bit of what this is all about. I mean, why are they even famous? You know what? Let's let me let me watch a couple minutes of it, and we'll see. Jake Paul and Rice Gum promote gambling to kids. This is from two days ago. I think he rapped. Not sure. I think so too. I mean, I'm not sure either. But you know what? Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Because look, hold on. Now, you should be able to see that. Let me just make sure it's going to catch up. Yep. Okay, this right here, that alone, you can tell that's supposed to be rap. Now, I'm going to, I'm going to save that. It was an app scan app. I'm going to save the rap thing. They took money to promote it. I'm going to save the rap thing for an actual video because there's no way. But let's see. Let me check this out. I don't know who that jerk off is. So I guess it is. Oh, no, they don't. They have the catch me outside girl on this fucking thing, bro. 
Come, all right, I have to click that. You know, just when you think it doesn't get any worse. Yeah, dude, you're not kidding. You're not fucking kidding. Oh my God, man. I'm almost afraid to do the rap video because it's going to be bad. There's no way it's not going to be bad. It has to be. Jesus Christ. Like, what? what Trust me, when I'm... I am going to... I'm going to dedicate a decent amount of time to this because I feel like I'm going to wind up tearing this poor bastard apart. Just... Ugh. Why? Why? And the, the thing that kills me more is why people are into this. What is appealing about that? Maybe they want to see themselves as that person? I don't know. I can't figure it out. I guess you can make the same argument for the stuff that I'm into. Oh, man. Sad moment in American history. Yeah, dude, no shit. For sure it is. No kidding, bro. It really is a sad moment in history. But we have to get here. You got to hit the low point to go back to a, a decent point, I guess. If, if, if Are we even going to go... Are we even going to go back to a decent point? I mean, it seems like political correctness is at an all-time high. And it's not going to go back to just being like where you can say something and not get killed for it. Granted, there are just certain things that you shouldn't say in general, but that doesn't mean you should lose your job over something like that. I don't think that's right. But, you know, what do I know, right? I'm just another asshole as sitting in front of a camera on YouTube. So who am I to be judging? Put on Ida Freestyle Sway. Okay, hold on. I'm writing it down. Okay. Mm, let me pop this on. Now, you want the picture with it? Man, do I sound like an old man? Do you want to see the picture? The second thing that pops up. You're talking about the wake up show. Seriously, you just listen to the dude flow. Wow. All right, I'll do it. I'm gonna do it. I'll do it real quick. And then once I do this, then I'm gonna get out of here.
but for now. Uh, hold on. Oh shit, they did one with the mortal technique. Okay, so I'll click on the first one. Hold on, man. So you're telling me, you're telling me that that shit is legitimately a freestyle. There's no written there. That's crazy. Just because it doesn't seem like that would be what it is. Damn YouTube, man, taking your comments away. That's wild. All right, hold on. I'm that's crazy. All right, I'm going to go back. Hold on.
Hold on, man. Oh, I almost hit the wrong button. I am about to say, that reminded me of in that song where Biggie and Little C's were at the radio station and C's went, then Biggie went, and they were trying to get C's to go again. And Little C's said, no, nah, man, I don't, I don't go after Biggie. I'm surprised that a slug went after that just because you don't I don't think you you can't really top you can't top that that is pretty crazy I mean honestly I I was not expecting that at all for a freestyle that's really good so I gotta check out more of his other shit I have Shadows have shadows written down. I'm so honestly sick. Yeah, well, dude, I mean, he is pretty nasty, man. So, but I gotta, I gotta check out more of his stuff because that honestly surprised me. I was not expecting that at all whatsoever. Not at all. I mean, I, I thought it would be like, okay, it'll be decent. But no, that was definitely more than I thought it was going to be. He was like an introvert, hippie, all about peace and love, but also had demons. So it's a mixture of enlightenment and dark. But I like that, though, because I think that it doesn't have to find pretty much everybody. At least it, that's me for sure, I can say, because I, I have a gang of problems, dude, but I want nothing but the best for everybody around me and other people I, I don't even know. Like, dude, if I see a guy pass me, and I, but I gotta walk wherever I go. I see a dude pass me in a million dollar car. I don't go, oh, fuck that guy because he has that car. My first thought, honestly, is, you know, hopefully he can actually afford that fucking thing. And, you know, he's not putting himself in a hole just to try to look a certain way. So I don't really, I don't wish anything bad on anybody, even if you are or were some type of way towards me where you don't deserve respect. I would just rather cut you off completely than to wish something bad to happen to you because I don't want to put that bad karma out into the world. It's not a good thing to do. But I think that it's important to talk about that balance between, you know, I mean, like, you know, uh, in, in the sense that limited Samuel L. Jackson has a line where he says, um, the sun don't shine up the same dog's ass every day. And I think that there needs to be a little bit more of that to be talked about because I don't think people realize that, you know, good shit and bad shit is going to happen to you. It's going to happen. But if you go on social media, all you see is the good things. You see what everybody's perfect day is. Spitting raw lyrics freestyle. No, I don't think so. I don't think that I did. I just wrote it down, though. So I will definitely, I will get to that eventually. I'm going to make sure I get everything off of this list that I have so far. But um, before I go, 
wanted to give you guys a chance to get out any other things that you wanted to bring up. And then also to just finish saying that, you know, well, maybe social media rant, that's a, that's something I can go on because You know, tearing apart social media and the fake, the fakeness of all of it is ridiculous, dude. Like, I can go on and on. One like equals one prayer. You know, everybody is always... Oh, okay. I already read that one. It's always telling people how they should be. Well, yeah, but that's the, that's exactly the point. Like, if you notice, everybody is always having an awesome time on social media. Never is anybody having a shitty day, ever. And if you if you try to bring it up, if you try to bring up how like if, if something, if I went, if I had to walk to the store today, and some guy decided that he was gonna throw some shit at me out of his car because he wanted to be an asshole, you know, if I put that up on social media. I'm a bad person for talking about the truth and not pretending like life is peachy 24 hours a day. Like, come on, man. It's, it says what's on your mind for a reason. If that's what's, if that's what happens to be on my mind at the moment, then I should be able to put that thought out there. And if you can't handle that, don't be friends with me. And that's the other thing, too. I, I should really be writing this shit down as I'm going off about it. You know, friends list, man. Your friends list. I have 150 people on my Facebook page. You know how many people I talk to? Maybe four of them. I don't hear from any of them unless they're sending a fucking stupid ass chain letter. Or if it's Christmas time, then all of a sudden everybody in my fucking family that I don't talk to all year wants to know where my address is so they can send me a fucking Christmas card. So when they put their head down on the pillow at night to go to sleep, they can feel better that they actually, they, they made some kind of contact. There's no need for all that, dude. If you don't care, then don't care. It's fine. You're not going to hurt my feelings. You know what I mean? Like, dude, how hard is it? Especially in this day and age, anytime you want, you can pick this thing up. It takes you two minutes to send a text message and just go, hey, man, just checking in. How are you doing? That's it. We don't need to get into a whole Stephen King novel back and forth, but just don't do that fake shit one time of the year and try to act like you care when you really don't. I haven't heard from you all year long. And when I do see you, you have to try to pretend to hold up a conversation. Like, that That doesn't really make any damn sense. Stupid. But anyway, I don't... I'm not going to get negative, but I want... The reason why I'll bring that up is because I want to get other people's feedback on that. You know, if you guys feel the same way about that kind of shit... Does that happen? Is that a normal occurrence for everybody? Or is that something that just happens, you know, in certain families? But either way, dude, I can't believe it, but I've been rambling on for 
two hours. That is a long ass time. Either way, let me wrap this thing up. I'm gonna go downstairs and have a smoke. Um, new content is coming out for sure over the next couple of days, definitely. I'm not sure what off the top of my head what is coming out tomorrow, but keep an eye out for certain things. Certain things. They're YouTube videos. What else would they be? <laughs> you know, new content's going to be coming out. So, having said that, and, okay, so it is normal. I'm, you know, these days, it's, it's hard to tell because I really don't talk to too many people about things like that because when you try to bring it up, you know, nobody really wants to talk about it. I know it could be a little bit uncomfortable. But either way, appreciate you being here, everybody that stopped by to drop comments, that watches the videos, that subscribed, and blah, 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 everything that goes along with it. Content will be up. As it always is, so keep an eye out for that. Drop whatever you feel like in the suggestions, and I'll be back soon. For now, I'm going to get out of here and do what I need to do. So with all that being said, let me just end this thing. I, I, don't, I never have a real good way to end it. I just have to kind of... I have to cut it off like a gangrene arm. You know what I mean? There's no easy way to do it. You just got to chop it and be done with it. So here we go. Ready? Done.